Well, clay is just this medium that I've never been able to get away from. I fell in love with it while I was watching someone work with it as a 10-year-old. It's got some organic quality that just hasn't let me go. There's something about the process, the feel in your hand. It's so powerful and beyond me. I love the idea of taking something that isn't going to last and making it last forever. Sort of like a real intimate recording of that piece of nature, like a leaf, for instance. We have to work with time. When the leaves are gone, they're gone. That process is very organic and has to be done at a certain time. It can't be too hard, too wet or the impression won't work. So we work really hard to preserve these leaves in order to make our forms throughout the year. And it's really hard. They just want to give themselves back to the earth and we use them as many times as, as we can, but they're eventually gone. And so the urgency of getting them onto the surface of these pieces is this organic way of holding on to them for everybody to enjoy. Part of being an artist is that you don't ever really stop thinking about your work. So your family has really no choice than to participate with you in that work. And so I am so happy that my family loves nature and it's not hard to get them out into the woods to help collect the leaves that go into my work. I think when you go into the woods with your family, everything else is sort of stripped away for a time. You sort of are experiencing something together. There's, there's nothing else there to distract you. You're, you're seeing the same things. You're happy to share what you're seeing with each other. You get excited about a leaf. It's, it's really a fulfilling thing to have your child be part of what you are so passionate about in the world. When we're able to gather leaves together or we're finding shells on the shore somewhere together and I know those are going to go back into what I do as a career every day and what I do as an artist to sort of feed the sense of giving to the world what it is I'm here to offer. I feel like I'm giving her a sense of how to be in the world, to contribute to something bigger than herself to follow her dream. If there's something that she finds she has a passion for in life, I feel like I'm giving her permission to go follow that. My husband's a chaplain and we have end of life discussions in our house every day. And then I come from this family who has been crafting monuments for five generations. And I think that the sense of legacy for me is just always really near, you know, maybe sort of speaking into my ear every day. And so I do think about what am I leaving behind? Is it just a bunch of stuff? <laughs> you know, is it just a bunch of bowls and mugs? And so I see that something deeper is there. As far as the, the creative work I do, I leave a legacy to my daughter. To, to find what it is that you love in life and to go for it. I leave a legacy to my customers because they get a little piece of me in their home. And I think when I'm gone, you know, I've left this path of creative energy that hopefully gives lots of other people permission to find what it is that brings them joy in life and in their work and make that their sense of purpose every day.